guess who's back with another video so in this video i will be doing valentine nail sets i will be doing one hand but i still need to remove these nails and today is actually the day before i'm gonna do my actual set which is what i usually do i remove my nails a day or two before i actually do my next set to give my nails a break of a few hours or a day so i just thought i should remove my nails on camera and show you what i do because i did say in my first video that i do not soak off my nails and hence i keep nail waves so let's get into the video so i will be using acetone with my syringe so basically i'm just gonna pull um, acetone into the syringe so i always make sure that there is a paper towel here because this can really get messy so i also make sure that i have a cuticle pusher to help me with opening the nails that are already lifting and yeah, it just gets harder when some of the nails aren't lifting so this one i have tried to lift some more so hence it cracked here but most of the nails are lifting as you can see so this one is like that there so we'll start with this one which is lifting the most so basically i just pour in acetone in there hold it like that and Typically, the acetone will just cause the nail to... There. There we go. Let's just snap it off. I mean, it sounds bad, but it's not as bad because the acetone just loosens up the glue. And that's basically what I do with all the nails. I'm just going to do this one because it's more open too. Oh, I just sprayed acetone on myself. Basically, just hold it like that. Just spread acetone in there. Just hold it like that. And this one, because I can feel it's not gonna pop, but I just do that. Okay. If I need to redo it, I can. There. Just hold it. And there we go. This is open. The acetone just loosens up the glue like i said if you feel like it's too tight no need to rip your nail off you can pour as much acetone as you want to and that's all i'm gonna i do so basically i'm gonna do that for all my nails and then i'll be back right now and here we are with all the nails removed and as you can see these need some work to be done on them this is basically the easiest way for me to remove these nails and as you can see there is a layer to show that there is some protective layer that i put on the nail so yeah just make sure that you do not rip your nails off because girl so that's basically how i remove my nails and i can keep them in here as i don't know a reminder souvenir as you can see these are pressed on nails so obviously i wouldn't be able to soak them off i don't have a nail drill and i don't prefer to cut them down and then do it all the hand filing and because i like to keep my designs intact so that's how i remove my nails also when i use builder gel or poly gel i do the same thing i don't know how that's gonna work when i start using acrylic because i am planning on learning how to do acrylic even though i had given up on acrylic a long time ago always make sure that your nails are protected if you're gonna use this method but that's basically what i do and what works for me so yeah let's get into prepping the nails for the new nail set so now i'm going to file my nails just to remove the top layer of my nails and just have my natural nails on here we have uh nails that are filed and buffed i really just want to trim off the length of the nails and also try to remove any of the uh, dry skin on my cuticle so that the next set that I have will not lift from this. So first I'm just gonna start with trimming off the nails, trimming off the length of the nails rather. So this is all my nails trimmed down. I don't like trimming my nails down this short because I like to have a little bit of length to put my tips on but because I had press ons and the glue just spilled over to my nail like this is just so annoying so yeah my skin is a bit dry there so I had to cut all my nails to this length but we'll make it work with the tips so now I just want to 
push back my cuticles and then uh, trim and then remove all the dead skin that's there. So once I have cut off all the cuticle dry skin and I am happy with that, I like to go back and literally file very close to my cuticle just to smoothen out that area as well. So now that I am done washing my hands after removing the dry cuticle skin, I will just put on primer and then also put on the nail polish uh i will be doing my nails on top of this once it is dry tomorrow so yeah for now i'm just gonna put primer now that i have primer on my nails i'm gonna apply this gel on my nails um two coats of it and then i am done with the prep now this is how my nails look after two coats of the nail gel and i'm going to just air dry it because it is regular nail polish i don't have to cure this and then i will be back tomorrow to get started with my nail set which is for you right now i'm back it is a brand new day and i'm ready to start with my new sets i'm definitely going to be using um the tips that i got from shein in my last video and i am going to be using the stiletto shaped nails so yeah let me get to sizing my nails this is zero so yeah this is too big one thing about me i've got really wide thumbs and very tiny pinkies like look at the difference the only nails that make sense are the three fingernails in the middle but these two are literally on the opposite ends of the spectrum i usually use the smallest smallest size when it comes to um my pinky and usually the biggest size when it comes to my thumb so i'm just surprised that this zero is actually big i hardly ha have like nail tips that are wider than my thumb so i'm quite shook so i'm going to be gluing on my tips oh okay no before i do that i need to buff the surface of my nails because i did put a protective layer last night so I need to buff them just to remove the shine once I've buffed off the shine of the nails. So now that I have all my tips on, I just like to go over where um, the tip meets my nail and just put glue there just so it is seamless. I really don't like filing uh, the nail off there because I do have a protective layer and sometimes it just files it off. And as you can see, I did end up having to glue the nails a bit lower than I usually do um, because I could feel that they are quite flimsy as you can see, but I'm sure that will change once I put product over the nails. Once the glue is holding down these nails, I'm just going to reshape uh, these ones properly. They are already shaped, but I'm just gonna just go over especially the top parts of the nails And then I'm also gonna remove the shine of the nails Now that I've removed all the shine from the nails I'm just gonna remove the dust there and then honestly you guys I did say I wanted to do a Valentine's themed uh, nails but I really do not know what to do I don't know if I should use these stickers with these or I should use I see some hearts there I don't know if I should encapsulate that I don't know if you guys can see that these are hearts or I should encapsulate some of these because I really wanted to use these but I really don't know where to start or what to do so yeah this is usually the hardest part of me doing my nails because i really don't know what to do sometimes okay i was really struggling so i had to ask for help i did ask my little brother because i did see that these are gold so i could use these in one set or use these i asked him which to use and he went for gold so this lost the vote so let's see how we can use these on my nails 
Okay, I think that black nails would work best with these nails because we do have stickers with black in them. So I'm just thinking of making these two uh, nails accent nails where I'll be using stickers and then maybe encapsulate um, hearts. Oh, I just realized that these are actual small hearts. This is so cool. Okay, I think maybe I should just encapsulate uh, the hearts on maybe these fingers or maybe my thumb as well but these would be so cool to be encapsulated and then here just use the stickers i really don't like using this black because it lifts a lot i really don't know what i'm doing wrong with this black but we'll try and make it work for the purpose of this video so just to put this aside i'm going to apply a base gel on my nails i'm not going to use primer because i don't use primer underneath my uh, nail cap so now that I have applied the base gel on all my nails, I'm just going to cure this in my UV LED nail lamp. Okay, so now just to get ready, I'm just going to make sure that I have my uh, brush because I am going to be using um, poly gel. So this is my poly gel brush with the spatula and the brush on one side. I'm going to be using clear because I will be painting black and encapsulating, but I will not encapsulate with poly gel because I don't feel like it's clear enough. So I will be encapsulating with my builder gel. I'm going to need my damping dish. Humonima. I do not use alcohol. I do not have like 100% alcohol um, liquid. So this works. Like I said, it smells really bad, but it works really well. I'm going to be using this to just to pat down my poly gel. Builder gel doesn't use any of the alcohols. I think I have a pretty good idea of what I want now. So I'm feeling like just uh, building full nails with poly gel on these nails and then I'll come to these ones where I have to encapsulate a bit later. Okay, now I have built the nail. I just feel like I need a darker background for this, but I've built this nail up. I'm just going to cure this for 60 seconds in my UV LED lamp. Okay, so I've cured this nail and as you can see, it's not flimsy anymore. It's not like these ones that don't have material on them, so it's quite strong. And I do cure nail by nail. So I just do, I work on one nail and then I cure, the, cure it and then work on the next so that I don't mess up the shape of the nail or just mess it up in general. So basically all I do is when I apply the poly gel, I just dip the spatula side into the liquid. And then I just squeeze out the poly gel. Me dipping the, the spatula inside the liquid ensures that the poly gel does not stick onto the spatula and it makes it easier for me to work with and then i also dip my brush and then just pat on the poly gel in place and that's basically how i build the nail just like i did one thing i like about poly gel it is that it is very beginner friendly it gives you enough time to shape uh, your nail it doesn't cure unless you cure it it doesn't literally get dry um, I think that's why I struggle with uh, acrylic but I think I'm ready to just start learning acrylic again properly but yeah this is why I really like poly gel it gives you enough time to shape your nails and just work with it and push around as much as you want to before you can actually cure it so now i'm done with these three nails not shaped yet and not haven't removed any of the uh, sticky layer because poly gel is sticky but for these two nails i'm thinking of actually doing an ombre from a black to the encapsulated nail decorations so now that i have done my thumb and my index finger as you can see i did not build the nails up because like i said i said i wanted to encapsulate these so i'm just gonna uh first remove the uh, sticky layer using my lint free wipe and my gel finishing wipe and just spray on it here and just remove the sticky layer of the nails Okay, so I'm officially done. Uh, so I just want to be working on these nails and encapsulate so that they are built just like these ones. So I will be using Builder Gel to do that um, in order to encapsulate these hearts. 
I'm gonna use a thin brush to apply the builder gel. I just wiped these two nails with um, sanitizer, so I'm just gonna apply gel there. What am I doing? I'm actually doing this wrong. Okay, firstly, <laughs> I'm gonna apply base gel. Okay, so now I have applied base gel on both these nails and I've cured that. I really just want to um, wipe the, the, the sticky, it's not really sticky, but the top layer of the base gel because I really don't know what makes this gel polish lift because it lifts. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is completely dry. In fact, let's do this. I will wipe one finger and not wipe the other and see which one will lift because at this point, I really don't know what makes this gel polish lift. Okay, this is one coat of black after curing and it seems like nothing is lifting so far so i'm just gonna go back in with a second coat and as you saw this is the one that i wiped and this is the one i did not wipe after putting on base gel so till this day i don't know what makes it lift but so far it looks like nothing has lifted so let me go back for a second coat and let's see how that goes and there we are with our second coat as you can see this one started to lift a bit but i think I'll be able to cover that but as you can see this is what happens with my black gel polish and it's quite annoying to be honest but this one looks quite fine so let us go back to what we were trying to do earlier on there we go so now before curing I'm gonna put some hearts on there So there we have it, I've placed my hearts where I want them, now I can cure this. Okay, so now that I've cured this, uh, my charms don't move, I'm just gonna build uh, an apex and build up the nails just like I did with the rest over this. So as you can see, I have built up a nail much more clearer than poly gel as you can see this is why I love builder gel to encapsulate but I do have um, a, a bit of gel on my skin so I'm just gonna use a different brush and use that to remove the gel on my skin because I don't want that curing on my skin as you can see need paper towel for that and then just to build a proper apex, I'm just gonna uh, put my nail upside down like that so that it flows and creates a proper apex. I think I'm just gonna add a tiny bit because I feel like this apex is not well built. I'd rather have it too big than file it down than have it too small and not have enough to work with. So I've now cured that for 60 seconds and it is completely dry. There we go, so I'm done with this nail as well. I will clean my brush in order to clean your brush, I put acetone in here because this is really, really sticky. I just clean my brush there because as you can see, it's really sticky and the bristles are like all together. So all I just do is clean the brush using acetone like that until the gel is completely off the brush and as you can see we have our brush all clean and stuff and now to remove the sticky layer of my nails it's already catching on the lint of this thing i'm just going to use the gel finishing wipe so that i can file these nails properly so i'm done filing and shaping these nails and as you can see this is why i do not like the black gel polish because it lifts and this is what it happens to it so i did try to cover it up with builder gel so I, I could be able to file through that but we'll try and see if we can cover that up with top coat okay now my hands are washed and let's just get into working on these three nails so first i'm just gonna apply base gel once i'm done applying the base gel I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. So I'm just gonna apply a milky white on these two nails and I'm gonna apply black on this one. 
now that's how my nails look after two coats of each nail gel now i'm gonna go into using stickers okay so i'm just gonna take the hearts because we are still keeping to the valentine's theme so this is how my nails look i don't know if i should be adding stickers on these nails that i've ombre but i think because these ones look too much and then these ones look like kind of basic so i don't know if i should add at least one sticker on each maybe i should let me do that okay so i managed to put the stickers on after applying base coat so now i'm just gonna top everything off and then i'm officially done with my nail set this is how my nails look the only thing that's left for me to do is to put cuticle oil Now that's all I have in this video for you today. These nails were really, really fun to do. And you know what? I just realized that I'm actually matching with my earrings. So yeah, I'll be tuning in next week when I do my other hand, still a Valentine's theme. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, honey. And I'll see you in another video. Bye.